Hey there guys and welcome to this Monday video tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your detonation.com um, muzzle flashes look even cooler by adding a little bit of a, uh, a flash to your scene. Um, and this video was requested by one of my viewers whose channel is right there. Uh, so go check them out and yeah, I'd recommend doing that. Um, but I kind of feel like I already did this tutorial, so I'm not going to get into too far detail about um, some di some of the different stuff that you can do. Um, but if you guys do want to check out the uh, the original video tutorial, it's right here. Um, it was one of the very first uh, video tutorials that I made um, as part of this kind of series thing. Um, so if you just think of like the explosion as the muzzle flash, it'll, it'll make more sense when you um, watch the video. But if you just think of the explosion as the uh, muzzle flash that we're going to do in this video, um, yeah, you'll probably learn a lot more and um, it'll give you guys a pretty good effect. So go check that out. Go check out his channel. And now let's get started. Alright, so here I just have my uh, basic clip right here. That's all it is. Just me firing the uh, gun one time. So go over to DetonationFilms.com. That link is going to be in the uh, description. And um, go download it one of those um, muzzle flashes. I've got some of my um, on my external hard drive. So I'm just going to come here. There it is. Take this and I'm gonna bring it into the timeline on a video layer 2 which is above the uh, original clip of my actor. So now if we just kind of scroll through here find a uh, explosion that we like. Like this one. Let's just use this one right here. So let's cut off all the extra that we don't need. Delete that. And uh, scroll forward to where it ends. About right there. And uh, let's go take this, and let's bring it right here on top of the uh, video clip of our actor. Now let's blow this up so you guys can see it a little bit better. There it is. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to key out all this black stuff. So select that clip, come up here to Effects, Video Filters, Key, and then Luma Key. Now by default it's going to key out the brighter stuff of the clip, such as a uh, the sun or something brighter like the muzzle flash itself. So we're going to come over here to key mode and we're going to select key out darker. This will pretty much make all the black go away but still have the um, uh, the there it is, the muzzle flash will, be, will still be there. If you guys don't want to do a luma key, what you can do is you can come um, over here to modify, composite mode, and then screen. And um, so see which one you guys like better, if there's a difference or not, I don't know. Um, so try out those two methods. Now if we see here, my muzzle flash um, starts from my right and goes to the left. So I'm going to need to just come over here into motion and uh, do the rotation and rotate it 180 degrees. So now, look, it goes from left to right. It's magic. <laughs> Alright, so let's scale this on down and uh, put it there. And let's see where I actually start to fire my gun. So I start to fire my gun about right there. So let's move that forward in the timeline. So now when I fire my gun, it's like right there. Let's move this a frame backwards though. Frame back and there we go. Now to line this up with your gun, um, you might want to use um, the edge of this uh, blue kind of edge I guess you'd say. <laughs> and I just kind of have that lined up so it's in proportion with your gun. So kind of like something like that. Looks pretty decent. So let's come um, and just put it right in front of the gun without kind of like changing the rotation at all. If you need to change the rotation just bring it to the side and you can rotate it either way. So something like that looks pretty darn good. Let's put that right there. And um, now if we were to render this and play it, we can watch it. It doesn't look all that amazing right now. It just That's that. Um, but let's say we wanted to um, add the uh, flash. So we're going to come back here to the uh, clip again and select the video layer 1, the video clip of our actor. And we're going to come up here to effects, video filters, key, and then we're going to come down here towards this luma key. Or, ah, no, what am I saying? Select the filter, <laughs> effects, video filters, color correction, and then color corrector. <laughs> I apologize. And then we'll come over here to the filters uh, tab, not the visual, because we can't really keep in the visual, but we can over here in the filters tab. So if we come over here and to the first frame where our explosion is, or to the frame before where the uh, actual um, muzzle flash is, and we're going to hit the keyframe button on the highlights tab. And this is under the level controls. It's just right below um, where the uh, pull down tab is. It's just right there. So we're going to keyframe it one frame before the actual muzzle flash. Move it forward one frame. Hit that keyframe button again. 
Let's move this to about, I don't know, about 400. There's no magic numbers, but if you just like want to play around with some stuff, you know, I bet you guys can probably find something that looks good for you. So let's move um, forward about three frames, maybe four. Um, keyframe it again, and let's bring this keyframe down to 255, which is what the original was. So 255. Now, if we were to render this and watch it, we can see it kind of gives a little bit more of an illusion of um, actual explosion happening. That was a little bit fast here. Let me render this um, fully out. Okay, so now let's watch this. Now, if you guys um, saw that, it's pretty much like it's kind of sudden. So if we were kind of play this a little bit slower, we can kind of see it's normal. And then it's oh my gosh, and then it kind of slowly dies down with the rest of the clip. Um, now, if you guys want to check out that explosion tutorial, <laughs> I apologize to keep on advertising it, but right there. Um, what it talks about, it talks about how to layer uh, layer the video, so um, where it's closer to the actual muzzle flash, um, it's more brighter there, and then as it kind of goes away um, from the muzzle flash, it gets a little bit darker, and it does this by using a 8-point uh, garage mat. However, it does use an explosion instead of an actual muzzle flash, but if you just kind of think of the same principles um, of the gar uh, garbage mat and um, applying a filter and everything, so go watch the tutorial, I bet you'll learn a lot. Um, also check out the uh, video or the video uh, my viewers channel. I don't know, <laughs> but just I don't know. Anywho, <laughs> that's the end of this tutorial. Kind of awkward now, so I think I'm gonna go high fives all around to you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed your weekend and yeah, bye.